but it is what it is. It is the middle of the week. I don't know when I'm gonna get this up, okay? I just don't know, and you know I don't know, but I try my best. I try, I try my best. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just tired. So I had to stop at the store at Walmart this morning because today is Grinch day. I had to stop at the store to get me a Grinch t-shirt, a Grinch shirt. And I had on a red Christmas shirt so it kind of worked well with the vest, so I may take the vest off later. You know, just being a good sport. So I got this from the men's department, and it is a 2X. You know, I want it baggy, and then I'm quite sure, honey, when you wash it, it's going to shrink. They provided lunch. It was a surprise. I think it was breakfast and lunch from a church. A church donated lunch. I think it was, um, it was tacos chicken or beef tacos, it was nice that they ordered and they served all the teachers and so on and so forth. So that was super, super, super duper sweet. And I meant to jump on here very quickly to show you what I wrote. You guys didn't give me suggestions what I could write on my little board for the students. You didn't, you didn't give me suggestions, bro. <laughs> Yesterday, I wrote, and I erased it before I left. So it's like, thank you for sharing your life with me. I do appreciate you, and I'm honored to know you, something like that. And they was like, they, they didn't know what to do. They was like, what do I say to that? I said, oh, thank you. You know, or some was like, and I think one or two people, two students, maybe two, they was like, well, I appreciate you too. And it was super, super cute. It was, it was just really cute. <laughs> So I don't know what I'm going to write today, so I have to think of something, but I have um, two students that should be coming for tutorials this morning. Um, my tutorials is after school today, but I, she emailed me that she was having a hard time with an assignment that's due today, and I was like, don't worry about it, just come in the morning. She said, I've been working on it for two hours, I don't understand. I said, what is it that you don't understand? I said, don't worry about it. I said, we'll go over it in the morning. I said, just come and we'll knock it out in the morning. <laughs> I'm talking to her like at 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. I mean, I wasn't doing anything, and I, I really didn't mind at all. If a student is stressed out about something, I, I wanna help them. And I, I wasn't doing anything, so it was no big deal to me. And I wanted to calm her down that it, it wasn't that serious. And it is for a final exam, but what she just doesn't understand how to do it. And then once I show her, she'll be fine. So not a big deal. Um, today is Wednesday. Like I said, I don't know when I'm going to get this up. And then um, two more days of school. And I believe Thursday and Friday are half days. So baby, sometimes I feel like I just can't win. But it is what it is. Life happens and life just seems to happen to me. So Bobby, she's texting me and leaving me um, audio text messages. And she was like, oh, my tooth, I'm in excruciating pain and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I feel bad. But the one thing is I messed up my insurance this year. So when we enrolled in new insurance, you know, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get something that's better and blah, blah, blah. But what I did, I usually get the flex spending, which is what I love. So if I have a medical issue, I have the money there already and they take the money out throughout the year. So I, I didn't know. I probably talked about this already. So if somebody gets sick, it's, it's not stressful financially. But I chose HSA. It's like a, the health savings. I don't even know what it stands for, HSA. But they take the money and I kind of do almost max because I knew, well last year I knew we had a lot of dental work, all, all the kids. And then this year I was considering getting a partial hysterectomy, you know, because of the excessive bleeding and stuff. So it costs money, you know, insurance is gonna cover, but so much. <clears throat> so I was like, oh, I, I, I just, I didn't know. 
I didn't know, okay? And I was like, oh, I'm gonna do the HSA. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. I, so I chose HSA, but with HSA, they do take money out of my paycheck every pay period, but you can use the money as they take it out. But with the flex spending, let's just say, um, like last year I took out um, $2,800 and you get that $2,800 up front on a card. So you get that up front, but with HSA, you don't. So now if I don't go to the doctor all year and it just, that money just accumulates and then at the end of the year, I can't do a big purchase, but you can't do a, a big, you know, medical purchase because it's little by little they take the money out. So it's only available as they take it out. I'm like, well, that's not going to help nobody. Well, that's not going to help nobody. And I didn't know, but the great thing about HSA, if you don't have big major medical problems, then the money will roll over to the next year versus flex spending. If you don't use it, you lose it. But I knew I was going to use it. I don't know what I was thinking. So now I was like, how do I get to the money? So I had a conversation with my friend. They was like, no, it's like two parts to the HSA. You got to have a bank where they're putting them. So I'm like, I don't even know how to get to the little, little bit of coin. So she's having dental problems. I woke up and my face is swollen. So like, like I don't have like a little partial oval face. Now I got a square face. My face is swollen all right here. So I got to go to the dentist. Now my face is deformed. <laughs> Bobby's Bobby's tooth is messed up. My tooth is messed up. <sighs> right around Christmas time, I don't got oh, who got money for that? Nobody. Not when my insurance is upside down. So I'm gonna try to call the HSA and figure this out today, so I can go to the dentist tomorrow because this is not cute honey this is not cute and then i felt this morning it spread so it's just right over here then it spread over here so i don't know if it's an abscess there's nothing inside but if you press down on that tooth baby baby i'll be singing opera opera so I took a whole bunch of aspirin. I call all the anacinamin and the, 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 the ibuprofen. I just call them all aspirin, okay? <laughs> so I took three little aspirins uh, this morning. And I took an um, allergy pill. So I was like, maybe it's allergy because what? I'm um, not watermelon. Pineapple. Because, baby, I eat pineapple. I put a little bump on my tongue. And Clinton came home with some pineapple from his job. They cut up pineapple. They gave him some. Baby, it was sweet. It tastes like candy. And I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm going to have to suffer through the bump. I was eating our pineapple like it was potato chips. Good. So I was like, oh, maybe this is from the pineapple. <laughs> so I didn't know. So I took a allergy pill. Look, it's still swollen. But it, it I think it went down. No, it didn't. Can y'all see it? At least I'm not in excruciating pain at this moment. So that's a good thing. But Bobby, poor Bobby is suffering and she won't be home until I believe Saturday. She says Saturday or Sunday. Um, and then she has to leave on December 28th. Although they don't have a game until the first week of January, but the coach wants them back. So she gotta do what she gotta do. So with that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope life is going well for you. But at the end of the day, it could be worse. You know what I'm saying? It, it could be worse, but it's I sometimes I just feel like I can't win. You know, try to put a few dollars away. I just and people say, oh, you need to save for a rainy day, save for a rainy day. When your rainy days outweigh the good days, baby. My rainy day fun gone. You see what I'm saying? You, do you, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Like, dang. Rainy day. Rainy day. Rainy day. If it's not my rainy day, it's somebody else's rainy day. And I got to take care of their rainy day. And then, then I turn around, then I got a rainy day. So it's just a rainy day here, rainy day there, rainy day everywhere. But... I'm still going to try to have that positive attitude because I know the rainy days are coming, but I know the rainy days won't stay. So why get upset? Because you know it's going to go on and on and on and on and on and on to the break of dawn. So 
ride the wave until you coasting, baby. That's all you can do. And with that said, here's Sydney. She driving home. Let's see what she said. Listen, 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 listen. I'm on my watch though. Hello? 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 Hi, Sydney girl. Hi, Sydney girl. Hi. How are you? So you're just now hitting the road? Yep. Okay, well you be careful. Okay, okay, I will. You all gassed up and everything? Yes, I packed so much stuff. Why you pack so much stuff? I don't know. Just because I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to be wearing. Like, I don't know. Well, you can always wear my clothes. Oh, that's not your that's not your style. Well, I like the sweaters you have. Mm-hmm. And it's Christmas time, so I have a, a few Christmas sweaters too. I know. I actually think I'm gonna have to take those with me when I leave tomorrow. Leave tomorrow? Where are you going? Remember I have Winterfest. Break it down. Like the what? Break it down for me again. Winifest. The Pine Cove Retreat. I can't keep up with you, Sydney. You do too much. I know. So you leave on Friday? No, so I'm on my way home right now. And then I'm babysitting at 5 o'clock for Maggie and Ezra. And then I'm going to maybe go to Mason's house. And then come home and sleep. And then I need to do my hair. Because I actually haven't washed it in like three weeks. And I'm convinced that... I have dreads. Um, <laughs> you <and> dirty. <laughs> and then tomorrow morning, I'm going to leave probably around like 11 because I have to be in Tyler by 3 o'clock for Winterfest, which is um, like a winter retreat for campers at Pine Cove. But Alpine, which is my Pine Cove team, is helping out another Pine Cove team, Timbers. And so I'll be there until Sunday. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be putting up the tree by myself. What? I guess I'll be putting up the tree by myself. That's okay. Well, we can do it tomorrow. Uh, how about I help you take out everything today? I took I took well, everything out. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure it out. All right, the bell is about to ring. Let these kids okay. in the building, and I have tutorial. Okay. Okay, okay. Be okay, have a good day. Love you. Love you too. Be careful. Okay, bye. Bye. So that's Sydney, my daughter. So when that bell rings, they let the kids in the building. So the little girl's gonna come down here soon, hopefully. I said, come in the morning. And, um, she never sits still. She's always doing something. Always. So she's on her way from Oklahoma to the Houston area. I want you guys to have a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you are experiencing a rainy day, a rainy season, a rainy year, a monsoon, a tsunami, or whatever it is, <laughs> just know this too shall pass it is not gonna last forever and just go ahead and ride that wave and don't let it totally take you out because that's just life but how you handle it is what matters the most all right